Here we are getting ready to start the trip. Pretty unbelievable. Let's go. First summit. Slow going. Scenery's not bad though. Just made it up to the first pass. Looking down, there's some people coming. You might be able to spot Joe. He's about a half mile behind. Hopefully we can get out and over before the storms hit. Hey Josh, you're gonna get off this, all right? We're just gonna draw back down. We'll wait for Joe down there. What's past is this, bud? West Marine. West Marine. Well, it's Friday morning. Um, there's the pass we did we done last night. A little bit of thunderstorm when we came down. A few close calls of lightning, but everything worked out. I'm getting packed up and kind of a lot of rain going on this morning. So we'll get on the trail here shortly. Five. See Josh and Joe making the final ascent. Still out of breath. It's out of breath. Breathtaking. It's not right there. 
Here's the Western Moon Maroon Pass. It's on the other side of Frigid Pass. Everywhere you, everywhere you stop, you just want to take a picture. Thank you, Josh. campsite If you slip, it'd be good for the video, Josh. If you'd slip, it'd be good for the video. Saturday morning, 5.43 a.m. and just got up and there's a camp on Snowmass Lake. You can see 14,000 feet Snowmass Peak ahead and it's just breathtaking. A little stormy and windy yesterday but it's calm as can be today. Like. Last 
pass of the day, Buckskin Pass. We just came up it, about 2,000 feet. You can see the lake camped on. No map lake, no maps on it. It's 40,000 feet ahead. And if you look there, you can see a white figure as Joe is coming up the pass right now. It was not so much. Looking on the back side here. We go down the pass down to Crater Lake and then about two miles out to the, to the car. See the trail in the valley.